All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to video three on goal setting. We're marching towards October 1st, where we want to have our 2022 goals nailed down. So I'm Anna Kruger with Mastering Inside Sales, as well as the class, How to Hire, Train, and Retain Inside Sales Agents. And today we're going to talk about step three of goal setting. As a reminder, this really comes from this book here, Living Forward. Check it out. It's a really good book. And so far, we've talked about number one, figure out the categories of life that are important to you and how you want to be remembered in that category. Step two is figuring out the gap. So if I want to be remembered as generous, yet today I'm not giving any money away, that's my gap, right? Is I want to give money away, I'm not. Got to figure out how to close that gap. So that brings us to step number three is the action items. So I'll give you a couple examples and then you can go work on this on your goals. So one of my goals in a particular year was to strengthen my faith. My faith is very important to me. Yeah, I thought, how in the world do I measure that? That's not a financial goal. It's not a health goal. How do I measure something like improving in my faith or getting stronger in my faith? So the idea came to me that, you know, if I'm listening to podcasts that are faith oriented, it makes sense that I would be growing in my faith, right? So I made a personal goal to listen to 360 podcasts throughout the course of the year. That's pretty much one every day, allowing a little bit of exception, right? And so 360 podcasts throughout the course of a year. So what that told me is on a weekly basis, I needed to be listening to seven. Seven podcasts a week is gonna get me to that goal of hitting 360. And again, I gave myself a little bit of wiggle room in there. So what that looks like then on a weekly basis is seven podcasts. If I do that week after week after week, that's gonna help me get to that 360 by the end of the year. And it would make sense that that's gonna help me grow in my faith. Another goal that you might have that would be more business related might be that you have a certain amount of money that you know you wanna make so that you can give it away. So perhaps it is that you realize in order to make that amount of money, you know, I need a hundred closings this year as an inside sales agent. Well, if I need a hundred closings this year as an inside sales agent, and this is a bit complex, we talk about this in Mastering Inside Sales, yet in this short video, you would look at, okay, from my conversion numbers, how many appointments do I need to set to end up with a hundred closings? So maybe I need to set 300 appointments to end up with a hundred closings. What would that look like? What do I need to do? And again, you're going to customize that based off of your personal conversion numbers. Again, we go really deep into that in the class mastering inside sales yet in this short video, that's just a quick overview of how you would do it. But step three of goal setting again, step one, what are my categories? How do I want to be remembered? Step two, what's my gap? Where am I today compared to where I want to be? Step three is now, okay, what can I do about that? What are my actual action items that I can put down that will get me closer to my goal? Next week, we're gonna talk about the final step, step four, which is really how to make sure these things actually happen. So join me in the next video later this week, and hopefully I'll see you soon in the class Mastering Inside Sales or How to Hire, Train, and Retain Agents, Inside Sales Agents. Go to annascoaching.com to learn more about those. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video to finish out goal setting for 2022.